prime time pitching matchup here tonight. Couple of lefties, Tarek Skubal and Cole Riggs. Absolutely. I'm super excited to watch this matchup. Two talented lefties, second and third, respectively, in strikeouts. They have swing and miss. They have velocity. They have command. These two aces are going to be rearing to go up against each other. One of the best pitchers in all of baseball, Tarek Skubal. As he gets the outside corner, and there's strike three called to Garcia. 97 miles an hour for the first down. Now lock it in. Here we go with Scoobal against Bobby Witt Jr. As he goes after the first pitch and pops it up. Foul territory. It's playable for Andy Ibanez. And one pitch takes care of Witt. And that will bring up Vinny, who last night homered twice. First time he's done that as a major leaguer. There's strike three calling to Pasquantino. 100 miles an hour on the heater from Scoobal to end the top of the first. Let's see if Cole Reagans can work his way through this Tiger lineup. It will likely include a lot of strikeouts if he does. That just misses for ball four. So Reagans was ahead of Beerling, but loses him. And it's a leadoff walk. Andy Abanez will stand in. Well, Reagans and Scoobal were first time All Stars this year as Andy Abanez lifts a pop up to center field. Garrett Hampson waits for it. And makes the catch for the first down. One on, one out. And that'll bring up rookie Colt Keith. As he lifts one out toward the left field line, it's Dyrone Blanco moving over with room to make the catch. So after the leadoff walk, the next two are retired. That'll bring up another rookie, Justin Henry Malloy. There's a drive out toward left field. This one is crushed, and that one is long gone. Justin Henry Malloy has punched out a two run homer and the Tigers have an early two nothing lead. You know what he did a good job of Wayne he fought off some tough pitches kept himself alive and then all of a sudden Reagan's makes a mistake in her half and he has some power turning and burning. Nice swing by the young man. Well, without much wriggle room against Tarek Scoobal Paul Reagan's is allowed two runs in the first. And now a two out walk to Perez. Jake Rogers their catcher tonight. Well it was a swing and a miss by Rogers as Reagan's finally gets out of the inning. Comerica Park in Detroit Tarek Scoobal worked a one two three top of the first then saw his offense provide a punch against Cole Riggins in this pitching matchup of lefties and now Salvador Perez gets one right back for the Royals. He cranks a home run on the first pitch of the inning from Scoobal. It's the 20th homer of the year for Perez and it's two to one Detroit. The nine time all star wasn't waiting around and he knew the scouting report. He knew he was going to see a fastball early in the count and did not miss it. When did this place become a band box? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get your foot down. That's the slider and it really didn't break right over the heart of the plate and he knew he got him as soon as he hit that baseball and said we here. So the Royals with some movement here in the top of the second already a run and now two men on. And that'll bring up the birthday boy Paul DeYoung 31 today. So Swing and a miss, strike three. As Scoobal goes upstairs with a 98 mile an hour fastball. Dyrone Blanco, the left fielder tonight, first and second and two down. And that one is in there. Strike three called. So Scoobal strikes out three in the inning. It comes after the first run for the Royals. It's a two hit day already for Salvador Perez. Hunter Renfro. That's a fair ball into the left field corner off the bat of Hunter Renfro. Perez on his way to third. Now the ball misplayed by Valade in left field. And Perez is being waved home. Relay from Baez to the plate. It is in time. Perez called out. I don't know if he was touched by the tag, though. He looked like he got in the slide, and they're telling him to check it. And the Royals will check it. This ball was rifled off the bat, bounces off the bottom of the fence, and all of a sudden kicks all the way to the line. And they have him rolling around third. Good throw by Baez, but it looks like Perez got his left arm down before the tag was even applied. I don't think he was ever touched at all by Rodgers. Looking like Ricky Henderson right there, huh? <laughs> yeah. Using his athleticism to get After around you, and use a left arm. The field is overturned. Runner is safe. Kansas City will retain their challenge. Let's runners at the corners for Paul DeYoung. It's a fly ball to left field. This should be deep enough to score Renfro from third. Valade sizing it up, makes the catch. Renfro's on his way home. The throw goes to second base. It's a sacrifice fly for DeYoung, and the Royals have their first lead of the game. It's three to two. And Salvador Perez at the plate. Uh, Bobby, he's seen two pitches. He's hit a home run and a bullet. He owns Tarek Skubal in his career. And now another strikeout for Skubal. I like that. <laughs> I need one to tell you. One pitch. Just take me all out. <laughs> a ball, two strikes on Hampson, and a swing and a miss for strike three. It's another punch out for Tarek Skubal tonight as Hampson goes down on strikes to win the sixth. A leadoff man on for the Tigers here in the bottom of the sixth. That's only their second hit of the game. Eddie Ibanez up there next. 
Check swing, oh. strike three. Maybe a little needling from Salvador Perez at first base as Sean Barber rings up Ibanez. A couple of base runners here. That's the fourth free pass oh. issued by Reagans tonight. Well, Mac Quatraro heads to the mound, and it doesn't look like Reagans will be allowed to finish this inning on his own. It's time for the second appearance as a Royal for Lucas Urseg. Perez turns around, bats lefty. As he gets Perez to pop it up, shallow right center. Out goes Garcia, backpedaling, makes the catch. Lucas Urseg helps Cole Reagans get through the sixth inning. It sets up a premium matchup here as Scooble will face Witt potentially with runners on first and second, one out. I don't think so. Here comes A.J. Hinch, and he's not going to let Scooble face Witt. Now he has a chance to do some damage to really break the game open. Runners go, and Witt grounds one. It's diving at Baez, who was able to keep it on the infield. As everybody is safe, it's an infield hit for Witt, giving him a career-high 15-game hitting streak. Now Pasquin Quintino batting. Now Pasquantino lines one to left field, a base hit. It scores Blanco around third base. Garcia heads home. He's in safely. Vinny Pasquantino drives in two. And as he has all year, that bridge between Witt and Perez, Pasquantino comes through. He continues to give quality at bats, and it doesn't matter. He takes base hits all over the field. He got his foot down early and hit it right to the left side where nobody was playing. Nice piece of hitting. As Bobby Witt Jr. grabs third. Now Salvador Perez. Now ball in the dirt. Bobby Witt Jr. will score. Pasquantino goes to third base, and it's unraveling for the Tigers in the seventh. Six to two, Kansas City. Winning baseball, Wayne, that's all it is. Being aggressive, understanding how to have situational hitting, and when the opposition makes a mistake, capitalize on it. Perez lines home another run. Pasquantino comes in. It's an RBI for Salvador Perez. He's trying for second base. Here comes the throw. It's not in time. Perez feeling frisky tonight. You're going to have to give him some oxygen. He, he can't <laughs> even get up right now from second base. I mean, he's been running the base as well, taking the extra base, and again, another timely base hit. It's an RBI double. It's 7 to 2 Royals. No! Over. He went over. He's over. And Sal Perez only a triple away from the cycle now. No count him out with the way he's run the base. The Royals now six consecutive hits with one out here in the seventh inning. Here comes A.J. Hinch to remove Shelby Miller, who could not report an out. Here's Freddie Fermin, who has not been retired tonight, and he's not retired here. He drives in another run. RBI single to left brings home Perez, the seventh consecutive hit for Kansas City, and it's eight to two. They're well balanced. They're a very deep lineup, and their game plan is perfect against the Detroit Tigers staff. The runners all advance, eight straight hits for the Royals. The bases are loaded for Paul DeYoung, who is the only Royal who has not had a hit in this inning. DeYoung oh, lines boy. a base hit to right field. That scores another run. It's 9 to 2 Royals and the entire Royals lineup has had a base hit consecutively 9 in a row. Paul DeYoung gets the first hit of his career on his birthday and the Royals are just pouring it on the Tigers. I don't think I've ever seen that in my career. But the whole lineup is literally turned over and factored in one inning. And again, it's all about the approach, but a lot of these pitches are mistakes. They're fastballs in the heart of the plate. The sitting the Royals have now sent 10 men to the plate. And nine have had base hits consecutively. Good pitch. Finally an out. And the crowd here at Comerica will encourage the Tigers after nine straight hits. Finally, someone has been retired. It's Blanco who strikes out. And there's a line drive caught by a diving Ibanez to win the inning. The Royals did plenty of damage. They scored six runs. So two up, two down, a strikeout, and a line out. And that'll bring Salvi to the plate. And yes, ha ha, he's a triple away from the cycle. Here's a fly ball to the right field line. Moving back for is Perez, and he makes the catch, which robbed Salvador Perez of a chance at the cycle. He was hustling out of that box. If that ball would have got down off that wall, we would have been seeing the Cadillac going, but nice play. Great range, looked it all the way into the glove, and Salvi was like, ah, I wanted that one. A 
If you hit it up, it's a pretty good play. If you hit it up, I go for three. Easy. Easy money. Two out here in the ninth inning. Jake Rogers, the batter, with the Royals comfortably ahead. As Rogers grounds it, Paul DeYoung has it. The Kansas City Royals, thanks to a six run seventh inning and a big night from Salvador Perez, all over the Tigers for a second straight day. They win tonight, nine to two.